All right, guys, so this is the tutorial in case you forgot how to use Noodle Tools. Um, I'm going to have you start in JT Learn. Uh, you can go to World Affairs. And on today's date, you will click on today's date, which is November 7th. Uh, and where you have the article, which you should have a hard copy of already passed out to you, right below that is the Noodle Tools link. So what I want you to do is click on the Noodle Tools link. And it will take you right to the Noodle Tools page. The top right in the orange is where you'll see your current user sign in. You already have an account. Your account is your school username. So, for example, mine would be delacruz.p. And it should be your school password. That is what Miss Linga Felter set up for you. So, it'll be your, your school username and then your school password. So you can sign in using that information. Okay, so once you've signed in, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Remember, mine is slightly different um, because I can see what you guys see. So you're gonna go, you should be in projects, right? Which is right here at the top toolbar. And you're gonna go to the right where it says create a new project. So you'll click on create a new project. You're going to leave it in MLA format. Don't change anything there. And the description of this project is going to be ISIS article. With that set, you can hit create project and it is creating your project. So now you're in the dashboard of just this project. Um, you are going to scroll down. You need to share this project with me, which is in your second box, the second line. Share project. And all you do is type in eight and I come up as period eight you will hit share project on the left because i am myself i cannot share with myself all right but you will hit share project on the left so then it will take you back to dashboard you've shared with me you're going to go back up to your toolbar in the bibliography click on bibliography we need to pick your work cited this is from a website so you're going to click website and then create citation you can leave all of this default, so just hit continue, which is your green button. Now, this is where you enter that information in, and this information is right on the article. It's right on your paper, so all you have to do is copy right into it. And then down here at the bottom is where you will start to do your annotation. The what I want you putting in here in the annotation is on the back of the article. So those one, two, three, that's what you go in your annotation. When you are done, you hit submit, and then I will be able to see your work. Any questions, ask someone around you, um, watch the video again, kind of problem solve, guys. Figure this out. You, we've done it before. This is just a refresher for you. All right? Have a fantastic day.